Okay, here we are. Back in the shed. 9 a.m. in the morning. We managed getting this Westy recapped completely. Uh, some that I didn't really expect it to recap that I managed to do. There was a couple of micas in here that were a bit iffy. Um, uh, we got a couple of resistors replaced. Um, all the tubes have been checked out. Uh, one is uh, a bit on the uh, sour side, not feeling too good. Uh, I don't have anything to sub and I got it on order. It won't be here until perhaps the weekend. If then, <laughs> if not Monday. So, uh, yeah, we managed to get everything managed to get uh, done in this thing pretty much. Got the fusing in right here in the back panel. New power cord polarized on it. New cap, new cap, new crap, crap, and more crap. Um, cleaned up the wafers on the band switch. Um, here's all the guts that came out of it. Yeah, when you encounter these, these got to go. They're paper. Uh, they're, and they're not they're not micas or anything like that. They are paper caps. Those are original caps, I believe. These here were replaced caps whenever they uh, whenever they went in and did these or if they did those. I'm not really sure if a couple of these were replaced. Here is your uh, line to ground, your chassis. Here's that old 5AZ4 socket that broke apart and that I had to replace. Here's a couple of micas. Now, on one of my charts it shows that if you encounter a silver dot in the first position, and um, eh. if you look at it, uh, you'll see a kind of an arrow pointing to one direction or another, depending on how you're holding it. And if in the first position it's a silver, I believe it's silver, it's a paper cap, so it has to be replaced. Here's a here is a mica, and I believe that's a mica. Yeah, it don't look silver to me. It, it's white. It looks white, but anyway, uh, it its value was off. Um, what else was there? There's a, one of the resistors. Um, there's another resistors. Um, yeah, this may look like a mica cap, but it's not. It's a it's it's paper uh, and there's the can cap the multi-section cap that came out of this this corner here now uh, there's a big issue with the speaker and uh, I did a, temp a tentative power up on the chassis after I got the caps replaced and the cord replaced and everything back on it that needed to get on it in order to make a smoke test and I fired it up and there was a a gnarly sound from the speaker now gnarly by that I mean serious rubbing on the voice coil uh, there was some warpage in the cone around the the basket here and when I pull the dust cover off even the voice coil uh, form was slightly warped and yeah, when you know it uh, it might have suffered from moisture I'm not really sure the speaker looked like it had buildup of dust on it um, 
Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. In the circular file. Uh, it has it has some. Um, I don't know if you can tell it in this angle. Right through there, that thing is all warped up. Right through there, that is all warped up, starting to crack. Uh, so once I pull the dust cover off of it and check it real closely, um, yeah, I seen that it was rubbing pretty good. So I was getting some horrible sound out of it. After a little play and everything, uh, I managed to free it up somewhat, and I was getting a better response out of it. So this is where I took it to. I just I did. I, I don't have any 8 inch. Everything I do is around 5 or 6 inch or 4 inch. So uh, I had to order those. Uh, and they won't be until Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> Mail permitting. Uh, the, there's two, uh, two wires on this. Uh, Feeding the, uh, I believe it's the primary on the audio transformer that needed replacing because the other ones were crap. And uh, so I did that, got that stuck up, and there is the result. All go to glued and ready to glow. Uh, So, uh, this is sitting on the shelf waiting for its skirt. Uh, knobs have been cleared up and they're ready to go. Now, hang on and I'll flip the chassis up and we'll take a look at the top side. Okay, here's the chassis all turned up. Um, original tube, original tube the new uh, 5Y3 and uh, these two were the missing tubes those are BA6's I had to replace those and this had an original shield for the A6 tube there was no shield for that one and no shield uh, there was a shield for this one an original shield so uh, I looked in my stash and I had these cone heads <laughs> and um, figured well yeah that'll snap on and in place and it's just right for the tube so different era but will perform the function as good as the original so what I did was I had more than one of those so I put a matched pair in there and put the other in my bag of tricks uh, the chassis has all been all refinished in my typical finish style. Uh, cleared. Um, <laughs> there's my dual lamp setup for the dial, the back lit on the dial, back light on the dial. Um, we got new, new lamps everywhere. Here, there, everywhere. So beware. Uh, let's see, um, let's see, yeah, let's flip this thing around, here we go, uh, new, uh, decal for the, uh, serial number, try to match it as pretty, pretty much as possible, there's the fusing, the RCA input for the phono, um, I don't know if you can see it in this light. Yeah. This uh, trimmer here was uh, the mica was broken up. And I think this is the AM antenna trimmer, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be mistaken. You, know, you never know about me. Another Brandon when it comes to memory. 
Uh, so I had I had a, an adjustable uh, trimmer uh, in my stash that I removed some uh, some wafers in it, and in there they had a number for each wafer. They had a mica or some sort of chingus in there, and I just bagged one and stuck it back in this thing. So we'll check that out. Um, this here is your antenna, uh, the AM loop connection. Uh, this will get cleaned up whenever I get ready to put this back into operation and into the cabinet. So uh, we're ready for the next level stuff on this. As soon as I get the stuff in to wind this up. I can get a, an alignment performed on it, and um, we'll do a video on that. Well, not on the alignment, but on the results of everything getting tidied up. The cabinet has been um, is still in its broke apart state. It is being. Um, it is curing right now. Uh, the it has been stained. The top has been aqua coated. One, a couple of the sides have been aqua coated. Uh, I did the cross panel for the knob area. Uh, it's got its decaling and its finished coat on the clearing. Um, so let's see. Oh yeah, that's right over here. That is going to be the natural look of the wood, pretty much. Uh, there is some browning from the uh, from the dark uh, color that they used on the thing. Like, I would have had to sand probably a eighth of an inch off of this stuff, off of everything, uh, in order to uh, remove all the darkness from the wood. Uh, and this here doesn't look that bad. I think I did it. In, I think I restained it in uh, special walnut or special Yeah, special walnut uh, The top is done in red mahogany and uh, And special walnut uh, And just about everything else is done with that um, So uh, Another day maybe this weekend uh, we'll start jumping in both feet on the cabinet uh, and getting it re-glued refitted and finalized to slip its guts back in so stay tuned thanks for watching